And it's time now for the weekly windows tip. The happy windows tip. Protect your ports. Put your shields up. With many, many thanks to our dear friend Steve Gibson of GRC.com. Check your own security by running Shields Up. Now, this is a program he wrote? This is a terrific program that he wrote. Now, if you go to GRC.com, Shields Up will show you how much information its secure engine can find about you and your machine. So if you go here, and I have this set up, folks, so that it won't show our IP address. But right above this, please stand by, you'll see... It'll have my IP address, and it'll say, I'm trying to connect to your computer. Now, I will tell you immediately, it knew our computer name right away. And when I did this at home, by the way, the same thing happened. It knew my computer name. It knew what I put myself in as my work group, all kinds of stuff, all going out over the Internet. So this engine will run and then test your security. Now, first of all, it'll say, look, preliminary Internet connection established. I was already able to connect to your machine. And again, this is secure. They don't keep any of this information. They don't do anything with it. They're just telling you what it is they're capable of doing. And then you can scroll down a little further. It'll tell you, now this says unable to connect with NetBIOS to your computer. On my machine, it said plus. I can connect with NetBIOS to your computer. So it'll go through and tell you what all of your security holes are. Here we have our private names showing up, going out over the internet, all this stuff. So as you can see, oops, let me scroll past that. There we go. A lot of things in here that can go wrong. You can also go in and probe your ports. When you do that, it gives you this. It will show you all of the ports that are closed and any that come up as open. Now, I experimented, and I tried this over our firewalled machine on the corporate network back at the office. All of my ports came up in stealth mode, which is great. But they say, you know, closed is the next best thing to a stealth port. It just says, I'm closed. Now, the repairs are actually pretty simple and this is one of the best parts that I like about this. He takes you through all the way the adapter, the protocol and the service binding where a lot of this lies at fault. You do not need the client for Microsoft Networks or file and printer sharing or the Microsoft family logon to get on the internet. You need those to share files with other Microsoft Windows machines but you don't actually need them to get on the internet so you should not have the client for Microsoft Networks for instance bound to TCP IP. So he'll take you through all of these steps and explain all of the different layers and where they should be binding and show you this is the default setup folks if you look here everything is bound to everything else by default. That is not necessary. So he can take you through the whole process, explain what you have and tell you ultimately you want to have TCP IP, for instance, bound to your dial-up adapter or your cable modem or your DSL interface to your NIC and take you down from there that you can use actually NetBuoy is a lot safer for any kind of internal sharing, anything like that you want to use. You bind the client for Microsoft Networks, the family login, those bind to NetBuoy and TCP IP binds directly to your adapters. Now he'll actually take you through this step by step. If you go here, click on your operating system, 9598 or NT, and he will walk you through the whole thing depending on how you should have your protocols mapped, what instructions you should follow, and what you should ignore. So please do run this. You will be so glad you did. Found a hole in my own security, went back, ran the, text, the, the test again, came up clean, couldn't find anything on my machine at home. Next best thing to having a firewall. Check out our website, thescreensavers.com, for step-by-step -step instructions. We have a basic article about the tip, but I really recommend that you come to Steve's site, grc.com, and read all of this really helpful stuff, including all of the explainers, his Explain This to Me section about this Windows tip. Check it out. That's neat. Thank you for doing that, Steve. Right. That's yes. really great. Thank you, yeah. Steve. Yeah. I was just going to look up Spinrite. Because I was thinking, oh, man, I need spin right. And, right. and I found this just yeah. by accident and ran it and was like, oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. I'm insecure. Yeah, it's good to know. So, it's good to know. Good explanations, too, in there. Yeah, okay, yeah. Com combat those feelings of insecurity. Thank you, Steve.